can see can you grab my bag too Andre Today we are starting in the non alphabetical order and I ask Joe in Candela from CMS to take the floor Okay It took quite a bit of effort to compress all the work of really thousands of people over many years into the small number, I think 175 slides, <laughs> that I show here. This has been such an intensive adventure. This is why we're all here. This is one of the reasons, I should say, but one of the main reasons. The, the specifications for the detector were based on what we would need to discover a standard model Higgs. If we combine the ZZ and Gamma Gamma, this is what we get. They, they line up extremely well, and in the region of 125 GV, uh, they combine to give us a, an ex, a combined significance of five standard deviations. Although our life will not change the day after the discovery of the, of the X boson, a step forward in fundamental knowledge is always a step forward for mankind, and sooner or later, it brings to progress. This is distribution extremely clean, except one big spike here, in this region here. So, zooming in this region. It's a very fundamental question, which is also relevant to, you know, to the universe and our world, also our day-by-day -day life is. It's not, really, it's not really something abstract enough. So just to be clear, we definitely found a new particle. Yes. It bears a resemblance to the Higgs boson. Mm -hmm. Is it the Higgs boson? Mm, it could be a Higgs boson. It's just the beginning. We, when, you, when you just reach the point where you can say something's there, you rarely have enough uh, data to, to give any details about what its characteristics are. On the other hand, everything we know about it right now is consistent with the standard model Higgs. I think that you have built the most incredible scientific instruments uh, from all the way from the hardware to the data analysis in global collaboration, and I think you should all be very proud. Thank you. Thank you. I, I went into that seminar expecting a good result, but to see five sigma up there on both detectors was a total surprise to me. I, w I was gobsmacked, as they say. You must understand these machines are not, are not, are not easy. The, the, uh, the, the, the background is enormous. Getting the signals out is incredibly difficult. And one after the other, uh, Atlas and CMS showed us what a fantastic job they've done. Well, I would like to add my congratulations to everybody involved in this tremendous achievement. Uh, for me, it's really an incredible thing that it's happened in my lifetime. It's taken... <laughs> it's... <laughs>